share simple, easy recipes for you guys so you can get dinner on the table. Now these last few months have been really interesting. We have been getting so many comments of stories from you guys. Stories that, I mean, horrible things have happened. People have lost jobs, there's been fires, there's been all kinds of things. And so, so you guys have asked us to find some simpler recipes that don't take a lot of ingredients to, to help you out a little bit more during this rough time. So this last month I have been doing a few recipes a week, filming them for you that are just three ingredients or less. Some actually are four ingredients, but you get the gist of it. We're trying to use the littlest amount of ingredients as possible so it won't cost you a ton of money and so you so you can easily get dinner on the table for your family. That's that's our main goal as sisters. So I know this video is a little bit different, but I hope you enjoy it and I hope that it's helpful for you. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. Three ingredient main dish is Dr. Pepper pulled pork. You need 12 ounces of Dr. Pepper, a jar of your favorite barbecue sauce, and a three pound pork roast and just a little salt and pepper to taste. Go ahead and put your roast in the bottom of an instant pot. You're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper on top just to give it a little bit of flavoring. Then on top of that, you're gonna add 12 ounces of Dr. Pepper. I'm kind of just eyeballing it because you don't have to get it exact. You just need somewhere around a can or 12 ounces. And go ahead and dump on a whole jar of your favorite barbecue sauce. Go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure that the lid is on nice and secure. If you have a little knob, make sure you turn it to ceiling. And I am going to cook this for about an hour and 30 minutes because it is so big and a little frozen inside. Yes, we wanna make sure it's cooked. When it's all done cooking, you can release the pressure and go ahead and take the lid off. Now you can serve this on buns or even on top of salad, however you like to serve it, it's gonna taste. 